What is up YouTube guys? Today I'm bringing to you my favorite spinning rod that I own. And guys, it is far from the most expensive. That is the Quantum Throttle. I know a lot of you guys have been asking on the channel to do a review on this. And guys, this is my favorite rod in the arsenal. The quality and the different features that this rod has and the reel has is unmatched by any other one at this price range. Guys, 56 bucks at Walmart. You couldn't ask for a better deal. Okay, I've thought about picking up multiple ones of these, but the last time I went back to Walmart, they were sold out because it's that good of a rod and real combo. Guys, starting down here at the end of the rod here, I am a rod blank. You cannot beat that at 56 bucks. That's what you find on high end rods is an IM8. Okay, typically at 56 bucks, it might not even advertise if it's even an IM6, which is the lowest quality. And you're getting an IM8 rod blank here. That's gonna offer you the sensitivity that is necessary to pull in those big fish and actually feel those bites, okay? Kind of going with the rod, we have a nice little hook keeper here. Okay, that is a pretty sturdy hook keeper. It's not my favorite, but it's gonna hold your bait in place and it's not gonna bend. That is a pretty solid piece of metal right there. Moving up to the grip, this grip is not like a wind grip. It's a little bit softer, okay? And I will say I haven't owned this too long, but you can tell how it's kind of fading in places. I suspect that that grip isn't gonna last the long term, but guys, I don't care. The rest of this rod is so good, I don't care about the grip. Okay, if that wears off, guess what? I'll go back to Walmart and buy another one. Okay, the rod seat right here is exposed on both sides, which is nice. It kind of fits in the hand really good, and you can kind of feel that rod blank when you need to. The rest of the real seat, this thing locks in very well, and there's no gaps there. Okay, it's just one solid piece, and it feels really good in the hand. And the reel sits in there really nice, and it doesn't stick out much. It's really compact feel, and that's what I like. I don't like a really big, bulky reel seat. The rod blank itself is really small. I like the diameter of the rod. It's not big. I don't like a big rod. Okay, I bought the Abu Garcia Vendetta rod. It's a big rod down here, but that's for a different application, guys. For filling those little smallmouth, I think this is the best way to go. <clears throat> Okay, this is the throttle too, if I didn't mention that already. This is a six foot, six inch rod, which is a very typical size for, you know, buying a spinning rod off of a Walmart shelf. Okay, another selling point for me, guys, is these Fuji line guides and O-ring inserts. These things are freaking awesome. You're not gonna find these on another rod at 56 bucks. These things even say Fuji somewhere on them, let's see if I can get that to focus. You can kind of see it stamped on right there, Fuji. All right, and every single line guide down the length of the rod is a Fuji line guide. Okay, these things are freaking bulletproof. They're awesome, they don't bend that easy, and they're gonna hold up over the long term. Okay, breaking down the reel. It looks good, it's got throttle two stamped on the back of it here. And I don't think this is aluminum. It might be, it might just be made out of graphite because this thing is solid. Most other reels at this price, you're gonna be able to twist and torque that reel seat right there. This one, you're not. Okay, and another big selling point is the aluminum. I don't know if this is milled, but it is a nice looking handle by Quantum here. Super nice. And the knob is also very comfortable. And you can tell that has a bearing in it as well. It spins very, very nicely. Okay, and talking about bearings, this thing has 11 bearings. You can see it right there, 11 bearings. You don't find 11 bearings on anything else. I don't know what you find that on. My Abu Garcia Revo X only has, I think, eight bearings, seven or eight bearings. Okay, so you're getting a good quality reel right here. Okay, the smoothness of this reel is unmatched by I think anything else I own. You can tell the bell right there is very smooth, very nice. Okay, I'm not gonna really worry about the line capacities, but they are stamped right here if you wanna see them. 
I don't really get hung up on line capacity, guys. I spool up some braid, I put a fluorocarbon leader on it, and I call it a day. Okay, I'm not worried about trolling with this. I don't care. All right, the machined aluminum spool is super, super nice, and it's super compact. Usually it reels at this price point. If you check out the ugly stick review we're gonna do, that thing has a big, bulky spool on it. And the Red Max that we did a review on, that thing has a huge spool. You don't need that, guys. This keeps it nice and compact. It's a very nicely milled piece of aluminum. You can hear the, the drag there, nice drag. And you, you can hear it in the video that we're gonna do where we actually catch some fish with this. Very nice drag system. And guys, I know I have braid on it right now, but one awesome thing about this spool is it actually comes set up with a rubber texturing around that spool and that's gonna hold your braid in place. All right, so I did a video the other day about taping down with the black electrical tape on your spool here if it's not set up with that rubber piece. Guys, you don't have to do that with this one. This one already has a rubber piece. It's gonna hold that braid in place and it's not gonna slip on you. All right, guys, so that is kind of the breakdown of this rod and reel. And guys, this is my favorite rod combo that I have in my arsenal. Guys, we're gonna make some casts with this, show you what it's all about, and we're gonna catch some fish too. So stick around. You can just see it's just peeling off there. This thing is just crazy smooth. You can definitely tell it has 11 bearings. I don't know if I've ever felt a real right distance. Now, what we're gonna do is just kind of focus on kind of how it performs. We're gonna show you a few more catches on fish here. There we go. That's a nice fish there. I think that's a really nice one. This rod is bent way over. Wish you guys could see it, but it's in the current. All right, this fish is a fighting. Kind of like that other one we had. All right, a little bit bigger. He's probably about a two pounder. A real pretty fish though. He's a solid color fish. Look at that, you just choked that Ned rig. And guys, this quantum throttle handled it amazing. The sensitivity and the action of this IM8 rod blank, in my opinion, can't be beat by any rod at this price range. That is a nice little fish here. That is a pretty fish. Pretty little bass. All right, and that's what we're looking for, guys, in this current. They're just stacked up. Get him back in the water here. Obviously, that probably wouldn't apply to this. There we go. That is a good fish. That is a good fish. That is a freaking good fish. He's in that current. We're trying to pull him back up here. That is a beautiful smallmouth. Beautiful smallmouth. All right, he ain't that big, but he's very beautiful. Look at that color. Hopefully that's the one that was uh, hitting it. He's probably close to two pounds. Just choked that freaking Ned rig. All right. Man, he's, he's a fat little thing. Look at those stripes, though. That is one beautiful fish, though. All right, guys, so check that out. This is the Quantum Throttle 2 from Walmart. And you can pick these up at other locations, too. I know Bass Pro sells them. I know uh, Academy sometimes has them. Dick Sporting Goods. So they're, they're out there, guys, at your local retailers. Just go out and check it out. And you will not be disappointed with this. I promise you. This is a super high quality piece of equipment that you can get at a low budget price. I said 56 bucks at Walmart. You cannot beat that. 
I'm probably gonna go back and buy some more of these, okay? Because they might sell out and they might not ever make these again. So guys, go out, pick you one up. You're not gonna be disappointed. Thanks for checking out the channel. And guys, keep it blue collar.